Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 Medieval Battle. This is round two out of five of the Rise of the Swiss Tournament. This one of a paired match against Gary S. I have Milanese 1400 against the Swiss 1400. So personally, I think this Swiss list is the best one. Uh, strikes a balance between quality and cost. These halberdiers and the halberdiers and pikemen are superior. Determined foot, they can move three squares. They're not Kyle, so they can be flanked. The more expensive ones have 25% pike, which deadens nightly lancer impact and melee. So this Milanese list I has a lot of options, and I felt very unsure as to which direction to take with it. I initially went with an all cavalry build. Yeah. Uh, but instead opted for a mixed build. The light crossbowman will be useful for hunting his lights, but trash at shooting his infantry. So I decided instead to get light horse crossbowman, which will also be trash at shooting, but better at running down light foot. Uh, no medium foot crossbowman. They do okay in rough, but there isn't a lot of accessible rough. All we have is this over here, and that doesn't seem worth investing in. There's forest, but he'll just avoid it. For foot, we could get pikemen, but these lose POA, so once they've taken... Uh, what, like 25%, no, 12% casualties, so it'll be on even terms in POAs, and of course down in cohesion checks being average. So instead, the mercenary men at arms, they are plus 25 above average, fully armored, of which they'll get 90 of their 100 POA. Uh, right? Is that right? Nope, that's wrong. They'll get not much armor. That's okay, they'll still get 50 at least. And they can hold, and then we can cycle charge with knights. We got some cannons for the large targets. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to feel more confident playing the other side in this matchup. Okay, what do we got? I mean, no real surprises here. If he goes to hold this hill, that would be fine by me. Looks like that's what he's going to go for. So, we should have the opportunity to get up on here. Then the question will be, how do you want to approach actually assaulting this? Or at least forcing him to come out, which kind of amounts to the same thing. We certainly don't want to... Huh. But these cannons get shot up early, so they should hold back, maybe. Okay, and then maybe veer right. And maybe we need you to swing around. Distracting. Well, that can't be it, because that's, what, 87 times 7 plus... Okay, time to pause. Yeah, what we see is 767 points out of 1,200. So, plenty of stuff back here or something. Uh, with that in mind, uh, there's some of it. Inch forward, you get there, so the cannons can prepare to fire, and... Wait, no need to try to get up here. That's not a race that we can win anyway. Next turn. Fine by me. If you want to spend your ammo that way, feel free. Uh, sure. Why not? I will set up the flank for next turn. Keep pushing over. 
get up there. Uh, that's 100 height hill, so move here in the next turn, we can move there. Light horse can hang back for the moment, I'll just kind of buzz around back here. That's a good position for the at arms to stay. You. Hmm. Well, it would be nice to get light cavalry all the way behind, I think. This is fine for counter charging. Okay, great. Um, yep, no need at all to engage in skirmishing there. Two, three, four, five, six. We're just out of cannon shot. Uh, we'll see if he moves in next turn. Could actually bounce a charge. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Huh. Let's see. It's still about 140 points missing. Weird. It's going to be lights either here or here. Unless there's halberdiers hiding. Oh, wait. That means there's like 100. 50, 160, about 160 points hidden in the ambush somewhere. So we'll keep our light jabs also hidden for the moment and see how things develop. Next turn. Okay, yeah, the handguns are a little bit more problematic. Might need to like do something about that. Okay, they're coming out to fight. Start wrapping around, get the auto drop. Um, here, piss off. Oops. Uh, I hope they break. They don't. Uh, yeah, that's kind of, you know, a problem. Well, we might need to end up covering that. Well, if they charge, then we'll probably just bounce off. So, I love it, but it's not the worst. That unit is in charge range, so let's say hello. Okay, it's time to bring up more lights, apply a little more pressure. We move here, we would get shot at, but we would also shut down the movement of that infantry, which seems worth considering. And let's hover, do the same thing here, just be annoying and in the way. Okay, cannons. Make yourself useful. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Next turn. Okay, yeah. Hopefully we just disrupt. Oh, even better. Okay, um, sure. Zone them in from that 100 height hill, and why don't we general up? Again, 
its own then. Why don't we work on that long flank we discussed before? Good. Good charge. Why would I? In fact, I might need to be ready to fall back from. Well, we could break them potentially. Or they evade and we end up getting flanked. That's probably not worth risking a unit of men at arms for a unit of light crossbowmen, as tempting as it is. Okay. Held firm. We could try to just be irritating and work our way around. Yeah, that works. Okay, um, I really want to move these hand gunners up because then he could charge and get through my Zoda control. So maybe we want us to get around or go. We probably need them more over here. Patience. Patience is key with this kind of matchup. Next turn. Yeah, that's all right. Work with that. Oh, the handguards are kind of a problem, though. Should bounce that. Ah. Oh, what a shame. Come on now. <laughs> Actually, he may have just helped us. Oh, I don't think we have enough movement points, actually. So, falling back. Interesting. Well, keep pounding them with cannon fire, because why the hell not? Uh, and in the meantime, let's try to push lights behind. Say hello. And let's keep maneuvering. Okay. And the charge is not worth it here. They've got pikes and the height will just bounce off. It's not really... I'd rather keep my position. That said, oh, we can do it. Well, it's a bad impact for us. But... After that, it's a good impact. We've got the height advantage too. Carry on, got the 100 height. And we'll prepare auto drop. And keep working our way behind. We could attempt to charge, but it's a 100 height hill, so it's not even remotely worth doing. Hello again. Great. Uh, and then... Hmm. That might be worth risking. So if he charges here, we bounce off, and then he can charge this unit and cover that flank. Then again, that's not so bad. We're still uphill. I'm kind of okay with it all. So let's keep hanging back. Do I want to push this? No need. Uh, you might shift more towards the center where the action is, so... <laughs> Gary S yes, might not be happy with me. The old light piece of fluff holds the entire Swiss heavy in place so it can be unrealistically hit on the flank trick. Yep, it's a tournament.
Uh, here, I'll do one better. There. You're not a light piece of fluff. Well, here. Now, if he charges us, we'll flank him, etc., etc. They're gonna auto break, aren't they? <sighs> They can break free. Yeah. It wouldn't have been worth trying to keep them in the melee because it would have got broken up anyway. Okay, next turn, hopefully we just bounce off without disrupting there. I didn't consider that possibility. Now, if we don't break instantly though, we should be able to take advantage of that, we'll see. Okay, um, zone them in, keep fighting. Oh, they're still holding. All right, let's see if this unit is gonna break yet. Shit, it is. Uh, okay, well. See what we can do about that. Hmm. Either apply pressure or start moving to trap this unit when we charge. Ooh. 
Interesting. Uh, let's start taking some risks. Charge. Bounce. Get in a flanking position. And do we want to cover their flank? Or is that not necessary? Let's see. Charge, we bounce back. Then move there. And we could still zone them out. Okay. That just leaves the question of what to do. This unit, I think more important than a round of shooting is the possibility of setting up a flank. Next turn, rallying the light crossbows, which not a big deal, obviously. Yep, we knew that was coming. Yeah, I thought that would be coming. As we scored a disrupt, frag, push back. Uh, we need them to break before we get flanked here. Okay, well, why don't we try to bounce off here? That's not exactly what I had in mind. for a break here. Held firm. I have choices now. I could try to go for a frag with that impact, or I could <laughs> save these men-at-arms with annoying charge. I'm kind of inclined to do that, just... just... <coughs> oh wait. No, I misclicked. That's what I deserve. Nothing, huh? Unfortunate. Okay, move this on the mount. Ah, oh, shit. So we're gonna lose here in general, we just don't have enough units. Okay. Well, 
this is still overall a good situation, and unless he squares up, we should be able to force some drops with our lights now that his lights are out of the way. Just a heads up, no voiceover in this turn. Next turn, don't rally, don't rally. Oh, motherfucker. God damn it. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay.
So they're in a square. Ah, uh, screw it. We'll just have to brute force that unit. Uh, you right past you at least can hit the next turn from a hundred height hill, even if it's not a flank. You force an auto drop. Unimpressive, okay. Mm, they're just holding firm through everything. Okay. Probably break. What we can hope for... Let's see, if we move here, they could drive us off. But if we move here, we can force a charge on a frag unit. Good. And let's see, why don't you keep up your fire? Yeah, we're unfortunately going to have to waste time trying to deal with these again. tough situation. We really need <clears throat> these units to cave soon or else we're going to be in trouble. Next turn. Mm. Okay, that's dangerous. Well, let's hope I get the same amount of rally luck in this mismatch. Okay, well first of all, shove these off. Well, they haven't broken yet. Okay, we've restored the balance a little bit. Damn. It's not a flank because they're in square, but we do get a hundred height POA advantage. Oh, but what else is in there? Damn. Okay. Hmm, tough patch. Next turn. Is whatever is in there gonna rally? Presumably. You gotta be fucking kidding me.
Okay, color me annoyed. Don't auto break. Not quite. Get there. Not not gonna be in a good way. Oh. Come on, that hundred height. No. Let's see. There is sadly no way to force an engagement on this unit. And there's one way, actually, but it would give up a juicy flank, which I'm not willing to do. Hmm. Well, there is said juicy flank, and let's see if they just break on their own. Interesting. Okay, fine. They break, yeah. We set up the next drop. There. Okay. Here. Fire again. That height to use. They're starting to suffer enough casualties that combat strength will start to help us instead. Get the hell out of there. Force a cohesion check. Okay, they're off again for now. But unfortunately, we're going to have to kill these bastards again. And they remain unbroken. Run away. Okay, we have infantry here, but where to go with them? Like, if he piles everybody on this hill, that's kind of a problem. If they turn around, that's also a problem. Well, those are problems for the future. Next turn, we have to keep grinding them over 60. Upsides and downsides to that, I think. We're going to move uphill. You're going to threaten a charge there. I mean, do I care? I don't think I care. Just keep shooting. Alright, get the auto drop. This is what we call a problem. Okay, that unit can't be saved, but we can try to at least score the break. Away, no way. Good. Uh, we could attempt to hit them. 
This unit's going to rally, isn't it? Evade. That's fine. What are you going to do? They might not rally. Improbable, isn't it? They probably will, but it's still worth trying for. Here, you keep them running. Yeah, keep them fleeing the field. We'll need you to do more of that kind of work. It's going to be a long one, but luckily we have time. We really only have one unit in immediate danger. I mean, they're going to die. Uh, but hopefully we can uh, do something here. If they square up. What do we do? If they square up. I think we just push past them onto the high ground and then kill them from there. Next turn, oh, of course, <clears throat> and of course, of course. <sighs> well, they might be in striking range. Okay. We knew that was coming. Apparently we have to auto-break every unit. If you go here, you can avoid that. So under control, held firm. <sighs> okay, it's starting to get a little bit frustrated. Push the right side. Get out of the way. I wonder why he didn't square up. Good. I'll set up the drop for next turn. I suppose I could bounce a charge, but what's the point until they turn? Back up to 52, so we need to break two units, really. I'm gonna... Can I assume they won't rally? I'll be really annoyed if they do, so let's hover. If they run off, great. If they rally, we'll charge. Turn back around to be annoying. Also, head back into action. You're dead. So dead. But if he comes down to fight here, we might be able to take advantage somehow. All right, hopefully we're close. Turn, a rally on the frag unit, no surprise there. Rally on the dis- okay. Killing me, dude. Stick that. Okay, good. Okay. Well, how do we want to do this, actually? You go here, you go here. Take a pot shot. How many times do I have to break this unit? Shit, they're gonna rally up. Oh my god. This is such a pain in the ass. Alright, hover. Please keep them out of the fight. Auto drop. Uh, 
Uh, shooting is tempting. Here, hunt them. Turn here. So if we get caught out, then we could counter charge. You can hold for a time. Good. Let's show up behind them. What is this cavalry going to do? Probably make sure this unit doesn't rally next. Everybody must be auto broken. Next turn. Didn't quite work out. So we could charge. Height 50, height 200. There for contact. Fire, see if you get pushed back. Didn't get pushed back. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Maybe they won't rally up again immediately. Here, try again. Cool. Get up on that slope. And... Maybe they won't break instantly. Casualties. Maybe it'll slow their rallying. I don't know. You are going to prep a charge in case they don't break. You get casualties. Next turn we'll see what the response is there. This is really starting to annoy me. Turn a rally on those Swiss. Who else? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Why aren't they getting pushed back is the thing. Hmm. Good. Okay. You send them out. You force yet another. Do they auto break? Is that it? No, not quite. Okay. Well, now what do we do? They're coming back. I know. Uh, oh, interesting. Do I have a way to make this? Oh my god. Okay, please hold. So, uh, that's one possibly idiotic way to do things. You know what? Screw it. Let's just do it. Now we're going to get auto-dropped. <sighs> it's 
going to have to work on auto breaking this unit, really. So, we'll have to basically ignore them. You need to... Nope, that's not quite right. Move out of the way. There's not much we can do with these light crossbows. Fine. Six turns remaining. Now it's looking bad. Next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so the auto drop. How much damage does it do? Fragged. Damn, might lose this one. We'll see. <clears throat> it's looking kind of grim. Who do we want to auto break, auto drop? That unit? Or this unit? Probably this unit. Look, a double drop. What do you know? Now, do I have a way to engage? No. Here, shove these off. Mm, too bad. Interesting. There we go. It's a little something. And then what, keep charging? Or maybe try to shoot? Shooting is pointless. I think we keep charging with our lights. Hold firm, go figure. What is drop point for them? Is it 40% for superior units? So, 220 or 230, it's possible, it's possible. Um, let's try, get the 100 height, bounce. He could charge me and we'd be trapped for a round of combat, but that's okay. Okay, you're dead. You go hunt those crossbowmen. <laughs> and it continues. Uh, is there a path to victory? Break that unit. Maybe that unit? Maybe that unit while also avoiding mass casualties, it's going to be, it's going to be difficult. Next turn. Formed a square. Makes sense. So, as a result, though, they have no zone of control. 
Let's hide 100. Do I really want to get adjacent to that? No. I could clip them. Not much point. Break to 47. Here. Fire. Get some casualties on them. Gotta be close. Zone them out. Interesting. Uh, you know what? Just take care of that. That means our pikes lose her. Maybe Lancer canceling abilities. Advance. Clip them. 62. My god, have we done it? <laughs> it's been quite the journey. Uh, you're dead. You're gonna have to wait in the flat ground now, I suppose. Give them a little bit more encouragement while you're at it. So you wait, and that's everyone. Okay, and that's match, finally. Let's see if anything happens here. Do they want to rally to steady? No? Wow, it's a miracle. Uh, <laughs> so that was, frankly, outrageous. Uh, but at least one portion of it is my own fault. This unit coming back it was routing, and I declined to charge it while it was routing because I didn't want to lose my light capped pursuit. And of course, they rallied, and then they bounced three charges, was it, while well, fragged and passed a cohesion check while losing a general. And they're back up to steady, and they're back. So the lesson there is it would have been worth it to just rush them off the map, even if it cost me a light cavalry for an indeterminate amount of time. You know, each of these units is like 8%, so. Totally would have been worth it. Uh, this unit broke twice. Broke, rallied here, broke, survived checks, and it's back, right? And then, what, this unit also rallied from broken. It was just nuts all over the place. Still, we've scraped by. And this does not, on its own, put me out of contention for first place. Uh, you can, you know have one or two pretty close games in a 10 game tournament and as long as they're wins uh you're going to be okay that said you know one thing to keep in mind with these slithering tournaments when you're looking at the top of the scoreboard the people within the top five uh you know, not only are they great players who have won all 10 of their matches they are also players who are lucky enough to have had their opponents actually return all of their turns so gary you know, worked hard and we coordinated to finish both of our matches. Uh, but in a situation where that doesn't work out, you can kind of get screwed. So, a good game to Gary. Good luck to him in the next three rounds of the tournament. Till next time.